In this video, we'll be looking at the Cartesian form of complex numbers. Now in a later video, we'll talk about something called the polar form. So I'm going to start off by building a complex plane. And let me draw an arrow right here. The question we're going to answer with this video is, how can we write what number this arrow is pointing to? It may be surprising, but there are actually multiple forms to write this number. One of the ways is called the Cartesian form. Now, for Cartesian form, we're going to think of the complex plane as having a grid laid over it, just like this. The way we write numbers in Cartesian form is just how do we get to the head of the arrow via walking along this grid. So for this example, I would start here at zero, and then I would walk over, I would walk over to two, and then I would walk up I. So over here I have two coming from this one, and then I would walk up I, so an I over here. So we end up computing that this number is two plus I. I want to point out that it didn't actually matter which way I went. So for example, if I had walked up here first, if I had walked up to I, and then I had walked over to, I still end up at the same number. What we get is 2 plus I is the same thing as I plus 2. And this has a special name. Is we say that addition is commutative. Now in general, Cartesian numbers, the Cartesian form of numbers, of complex numbers, is just any time we write a complex number like this, a plus bi. For example, we could have numbers like 3 minus 7i, 8 plus the square root of 2i, anything like this. This is all called Cartesian form. Next, let's look at how we can add complex numbers in Cartesian form. Now, rather than just showing you the computation, I, wanna, I want you to see what is happening in the complex plane. So first, I'll build a complex plane. And then we'll lay our grid over it because we, we're thinking about Cartesian form. Now, the computation we're going to do is 2 plus i. That's going to be our first complex number. So I'm going to add the arrow over here. So this arrow represents 2 plus i. Remember, we walk over 2 and up i. And we're going to add to it the complex number minus 1 plus i. So we're going to add this arrow also. It's going to be the arrow that points from here to here. Now for addition, well, what we're going to do, we're just going to walk along the grid. So we go over 2, up i. And then we know we're going to go negative 1 and then up another i. So we're eventually going to end up there. But this is the exact same thing as if we took this vector, this arrow right here, and we just transported it along to the head of this arrow. It's going to point at the same point. So that's the way we can think of addition. It's just moving this arrow along here. And now we point to there. So this gives us our new complex number. And if you look, this thing is walk over 1 and up 2i. So our number is 1 plus 2i. Okay, so in practice, you don't have to think about this arrows moving around. I just want to give you some sort of visualization. Um, you could come over here and just do the algebra and say, well, this is equal to, let me group up the real parts. So this is equal to 2 minus 1. So that's me grouping up the real parts. And then I'm going to group up the imaginary parts, i plus i. And I end up with, well, I can just do 2 minus 1. I get 1. And then I can do i plus i. I get 2i. I get the same thing either way. So now that you've seen an example of addition, let's go ahead and do a subtraction example.
Let's try 3 plus 5i minus 4 minus 2i. Okay, so we're just going to do 3 plus 5i. And then I need to distribute the negative sign, so I get a minus 4. And we get this negative, negative, so we get a plus 2i. And then it turns into pretty much just, just like the case of addition. We have 3 minus 4 plus 5i plus 2i. That's equal to negative 1 plus 7i. Okay, let's do a multiplication example. Okay, I'm not going to give you a visualization for multiplication yet. When we get to polar form, it, there's a nice way to understand what's happening when you multiply complex numbers. But it's really nasty in Cartesian form. The computation itself is not that bad, but the visualization, it's hard to see what what multiplication is really doing to the arrows from the Cartesian point of view. But for our example, we'll do 2 plus i times negative 1 plus i. And we're just going to use the FOIL method, first, outer, inner, last, to multiply this out. So we get, let's do the first, so 2 times negative 1. Then we'll do outer, so that's plus 2 times i, that's this one, and this one. Then we'll do inner, that's minus i. And then let's do plus i squared, plus i squared. And I need to remind you of something, which is that i squared is actually equal to negative 1. Anytime you have i squareds, we're going to get rid of them and replace them with negative 1. So simplifying this, let's see, this is negative 2, add these together, you get plus i, and then this is minus 1, so it looks like you end up with negative 3 plus i. We talked about multiplication, and the next logical thing to do would be to talk about division. But I really don't want to introduce division just using the Cartesian form. Division makes a lot of sense whenever we talk about the polar form. And I, I want to wait until I show you the absolute value before I show you how you perform division. So we're actually not going to do division in this video. We'll talk about division in a later video. And that's where I'm going to end this video.